Alright, hello and welcome back to Pathologic. Last time, I mean, last time, um, last video we just kind of explored another option with trying to get day three sorted out and didn't pan out, but last time, like chronologically in game, we, um, we, we got to cross over a plague zone into, uh, to go hopefully aim for getting some funds from Young Vlad. Isn't that what's going on here? Yeah. It won't be enough, but it's something I'm pretty sure we have to do. So it's a matter of getting through the plague zone. Hopefully it won't just be like, I won't take a full video to do that, although it very well could. The last time I, you know, did some experimenting in a plague zone, I also just thought about this in between. Okay, that doesn't actually help me. I feel like... Okay, well, I can see that rat heading towards me already, so... Let's see if we can make it through here. Okay, already, already. Well, let's try making it through other than the cloud. Like, look at that, it spawned at the top of the stairs. That is... That feels unfair, but um, other than that, I feel like unless we we got kind of ambushed there, but other than that, I feel like unless we get ratted, I don't think there's going to be any too big an issue. Like I was scared of these shambling shamblers and the violence I saw in the distance before. But the violence is from the guards. We don't. It's not actually a problem for us. Why are there so many clouds? And you can just punch the rats. That's pretty cool. So unfortunately, we didn't. Okay, so it's safe in this little area. As long as a rat doesn't sneak up on you from behind. But uh, I feel like we are going to go ahead and try that again. But that was pretty promising, I think. Like, I didn't get ambushed there. I played kind of careless in the back half because I got ambushed by a cloud. But other than that, that one, that wasn't actually too bad, I don't think. So let's, um, can you see the clouds ahead of time with the, um, Plague scope, like this is supposed to be in the instructions, it says this is some sort of like detection, but it never seems to show anything. Okay, is there like the problem is the clouds Okay, I mean that Oh, you can see them from a distance with this. Actually that will be helpful, I think. I don't want to be annoying, but I do feel like if I flicker this on and off, it'll help me. I'm not, I don't want to have it permanently on because it'll, um, interfere with my vision for like the shamblers and that. Like that, that, that cloud was chasing me. Come on. How hard can it be to punch a rat? Oh, it got me. What? Like, look, I. What am I doing wrong? I'm punching at it. I'm actively in a fight with a rat and I'm losing. Do I punch a higher? Like, it's. It's beating me up. Okay, well, I don't understand rat combat, it looks like. Maybe they can't be hurt when they're in, when the rat is in, like it's some... Um, whoops, didn't... Well, let's practice on this rat here. Like, okay, there's a certain timing to it you gotta get down. This might be this whole video. Because, like, I really got to be careful with my stats here. So, like, 
I mean, we've only had two attempts so far. Don't count yourself out so quickly, I feel like. Doesn't look like it's at the top. It is at the top of the stairs this time. Is, there, is it in a fixed position? Because, like... I feel like that's a very specific spot for it to be spawning three times in a row, you know? Like, that cloud didn't even show up, and how am I supposed to dodge these? That's... Okay, well, I did it somehow. Oh, I gotta dodge this one, and I gotta fight this rat. What, uh, I, what is happening? Okay, I gotta figure out rat combat, like... Okay, well, excuse me. But there, that's... Okay, I don't care, you can cloud me up all you want. I thought I saw one over here, maybe not, but like... I don't understand what the rules are, like why am I sometimes failing to fight these little creatures? Well, I can't find one, so we may as well go ahead and reset. <laughs> Maybe we'll, I mean, like, the further in, in the game we get, we do this, the more I think we can just, like, bear it through the plague, but for now, this early on, I feel like it's gonna, it accumulates, I feel like I just wanna see if I can't get the, get this right. Because it also makes sense for it to get, like, harder, the plague zones to get harder the further along you get. So, I may as well try to be able to do this one consistently. I also like how they hang up rats on the um, effigy there. Oh. Okay. Like, like, what is happening here? Okay, I kind of just need practice, because there's a very certain time where you throw your punch and it gets it, and I kind of, I know what it looks like, I just don't have enough experience with it to feel comfortable doing it consistently. Don't wiggle your arms at me, man, either, that's the other thing. I've, I don't know how long you have to pass them, but it feels like you have a weirdly long amount of time you get to be able to pass by the plague victims, but still. Is there a rat here? There is, so... Okay. There we go. There's another um, plague victim behind me, but I feel like I'm just gonna pop in here so I know I'm safe. Alright, we made it. We'll save. Because that was, uh, that was more difficult than it needed to be. Like, it's mostly, I just need experience, but... That's what I'm doing here. Okay. Can you tell me where to get that? Money from? Also, don't walk away from me, please. And I very well will take money from you. Do you have anything else to say? Okay, well, I would take one of those eventually, but for now. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll overwrite it, and I guess we just, um, try to make our way out? Don't worry, officer, I'm just- I got my fists up to fight any rodents I come across.
you know, as you do. Alright, and uh, that was, um, the trip out seemed a lot easier than the trip in. Maybe I took a less direct path or whatever, but that was, um, a very anticlimactic trip back. I mean, I just had to dodge one cloud and I'm here. So... I guess I could talk to Victor again. That's the other thing. I don't know what to actually, like, keep in mind what we're actually doing here as a reminder. There's a bunch of innocent people who are at risk of getting the plague in the jail. I need to bail them out so they don't, um... You know, first off, because there is innocent, second off, because they're, um... You know, we don't want any more plague victims than we have to. And so we're trying to raise the money for it. We got a bunch from Victor already. We got a bunch from uh, Young Vlad. Nothing else shows up on the map. Like, I would think potentially it could be... You know what? I'll save here too now that we're out of the plague zone. Maybe unnecessary, but whatever. I'll talk to Victor again, but maybe it could be, um... One thought is it could be Yulia? Because, like, if you remember... There was a situation previously with, um... A side mission that I ended up not doing, as with every side mission, pretty much. With Lara Ravel that, um... I... She was, like, stockpiling money for like food because of the food prices you get crazy because of like everything that's happening in this game. And the three people I thought I got it from I got some money from Victor, Young Vlad, and uh Yulia, I feel like. I thought. So it would make sense to me if the third person is Yulia. It could also be a Glemsky, I guess. Like this whole thing, isn't this even... This isn't even today's quest. It has to do with, um... Victor, so I thought it might be, able, might be like, for saving him anyways, but it's kind of concerning that it's not actually... officially a main quest. It'd be interesting to see, like, if I don't do it, whether or not he, uh... If I don't do anything else, whether or not he dies, because that all maybe give me a hint towards what's happening with Peter as well. I mean, I guess we could talk to Laura. She doesn't seem like the type to have a lot of money to go around, but we could talk to her anyways. Maybe check up on her after the whole incident with uh, Aglimsky. Yeah, you and your creepy house with all your creepy people. Okay, well that's nothing. You have told me nothing, thank you. And of course it's a plague zone, so we'll go ahead and save again. Or maybe we should find, okay, I'm say maybe we should find like the quickest way in, but this is the quickest way in, so. Oh, they're off chasing something too, that's cool. Well, the clouds are honestly the biggest concern. I'll figure this out eventually, rodent. There we go. There's a certain timing in the way you gotta move. I 
just gotta practice it, because they gotta be like a within a certain distance from you. And that is hard to measure. But it really doesn't seem plague zones really don't seem as intense as they were normally. Is Julius? Yeah, I was gonna wonder if she's still alive, but she is. And she's just sad. I don't blame her, but it's not really helpful to me. Do we wanna, you know what, we'll try going back down through the plague zone. It's probably, I probably won't make it to the Sabarovs. And I won't save, because I don't really need to, because we didn't get anything done here. But, uh, I want to give it a try, just if nothing else, I think it's useful to, like, get ourselves familiar with, maybe we're not in the plague zone quite exactly, maybe we're just, like, on its perimeter? I don't know. Is she scared of me? Did she think I was going to attack her? Or is she just running away from the plague zone? Let's test that out. Like, there's a child here. Nonchalant. Oh, uh, You don't care. Okay. Well. Don't know why she's running then, but... Whatever. Maybe it's an event. Like, we saw some people chase witches before. Also, oh, her pathfinding is wait. What's where is she? Oh, there is a gap in the fence there. Whatever. Oh, you know what? Let's let's not whatever. Let's. This probably is nothing, but let actually let us chase her, because this might be. I just thought of this. This might be a side quest, because they normally don't give NPC stuff like this unless you do something, or it's a side quest. I interact with her at all? I'm pressing E on her and nothing's happening. But this is where she was, right? Is she just running in a circle? No? I mean, we, we can talk to, um... The movements are so erratic, I feel like she's just on like a run away from the player script. Like if I overtake her. Okay, wait, what's she gonna do up here? Because this is definitely a dead end. I found that out the hard way before. Okay, you okay little girl? Okay, maybe she's just going for a morning jog. I don't know. Don't know what's happening there, but that's definitely not um, what we're supposed to be doing. I just chased a child around the street for no reason. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually, I'm going this way too. Don't mind me here. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay. We want to talk to the Glimskis, ideally. I don't think he'll have. I don't think they'll have anything, but they could. Maybe there's not even a plague zone in between here. Like I don't exactly know where the geometry of the plague zones is, because I don't have a Vlad, young Vlad's map. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But like. I guess it's just kind of like in random blotches. That's a weird choice.
We talked to Vlad. Did we do this already? Does he have anything to say? No. Okay. Is there a way to gather more money? What even is this what we're supposed to be doing? Like, who else even is there that's a plot person? Yulia we talked to, Lara we talked to. That's nothing. We talked, we just went there. We did that. Talk to Anna Angel, I guess. Is the only other potential person, but given that she didn't have enough money to hide that body, I don't feel like she's going to be having enough money to having like ten thousand. She didn't have four thousand to hide a dead body, so I don't think she's going to have like twenty thousand to hide a uh, to bail out a prisoner. Prisoners, whatever, you know what I mean. Let's go double check. Maybe I just like did the events wrong last time. And we'll get this. I don't it doesn't seem likely, but it's worth a shot. So I'm in here now, talk to my man, okay, well I mean I have, is there is something else I can interact with here too? Hello? Wait, what is happening now? Oh, did I just interact with him? But I'm gonna... S I don't know what's happening right now. If I just leave, what's... Because he's looking over there. I just opened the bars. I still have all my money. I don't get what just happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, man. Can I bail any of these people out? Did any of them have hints? Did any of them other than one person have any original dialogue? Doesn't look like it. And the rest of the jail cells are filled with corpses, that's cool. Well, we didn't get anything done here, so... Um, I think we'll just leave it off for next time, we'll... I don't know what we'll do next time. We'll look into more stuff. Hopefully I won't have to use a guide, but it's possible. I don't think this is even what you're supposed to be doing. Like I said, I just don't know what it is you are supposed to be doing. But I guess that's a question for tomorrow, like I said. I wonder, maybe I should try... I guess the two options I have, I can try denying the money from Victor and just letting the pe people die. And I can also try just, like, not doing the quest at all. <clears throat> I can also try just not doing the quest at all. So my voice, my voice got a bit messed up there, but... Those are some things to explore next time. For now, one did here, like I said, thank you for watching.